Hello, welcome to Erwin Singh Academy. We are discussing uh, limits and this is a lecture number 4. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 3 before watching part 4. In this lecture, we are going to discuss some problems uh, in which we will discuss about the concept of left, left limit and right limit and uh, we will discuss one by one. That will be limit h tends to 0 and tan 2 into pi by 2 is pi plus 2h divided by h. So that will be limit h tends to 0 tan pi plus theta is equal to tan theta that is 2h and in denominator there is h only. So if I divide by 2 we should multiply by 2. Now tan theta by theta when theta tends to 0 is 1 and therefore the answer will be 1 into 2 that is 2. What I have used here, theta tends to 0, then tan theta by theta is 1. This is what I have used here, right? Okay. Now, the next question, that is question number 23. Let us discuss it. Question number 23 is uh, written like, find limit x tends to 0 fx. This is one question. And limit x tends to 1 fx where fx is defined as where fx is defined as fx is defined as defined as fx is equal to what it is given that 2x plus 3 2x plus 3 when x is less than equal to 0 and 3 times of x plus 1 when x is greater than 0. So here function hat is, uh, has two definition at 0 slightly less than 0 and slightly greater than 0 there are two values so we will go for check for uh, left hand limit and right hand limit. So here LHL is what? Limit h tends to 0 minus fx means slightly less than 0 in that case x less than 0 is applicable here only so we will write limit x tends to 0 again minus limit h tends to x tends to 0 minus not h but x here Sorry. x tends to 0 minus right and uh, this is 2x plus 3 now, if I put 2x a 0 minus, that is slightly lesser than 0 and uh, it is going to be 0 exactly. So, we can write here 2 into 0 plus 3, that is 3. So, this is LHL. Now, RHL is x tends to, RHL is limit x tends to 0 plus fx and that is limit x tends to 0 plus and when x is greater than 0 then this is the application this is the value of fx 3 times of x plus 1 if i'll put x is equal to 0 then that will be 3 into 0 plus 1 and that will be 3 also so since lhl is equal to rhl and hence limit exist therefore limit exist therefore we can write therefore limit exist limit exists and we can say limit x tends to 0 fx is equal to 3 answer now the second question is uh, x tends to 1 what is the value of fx when x tends to 1 limit x tends to 1 fx then uh, what will be that fx limit x tends to 1 fx x tends to 1 means greater than 0. Na? So, 1 is greater than 0. So, this formula is applicable. This is applicable for all value of x greater than 0. So, here uh, this will be applicable. And we will write here fx is equal to here fx is equal to limit x tends to 0 fx is equal to 3 times of x plus 1 that is limit x tends to 1. So, if I will put here x is equal to 1, this will be 1 plus 1 that is 2, 3 into 2 that is 6. So, we will check left limit and right limit uh, if there is a doubtful case, otherwise there is no need to check it left limit and right limit. 
I hope you got it. Okay. Now the next question is question number 24. So let us see what is this question number 24 and question number 24 says that uh, find limit x tends to 1. Find limit x tends to 1. Right x tends to 1 where fx is defined as where fx is defined as like this fx is equal to x square minus 1 x square minus 1 when x is less than 1 and it is minus x square minus 1 when x is greater than 1 so these are the two values and we have to check because here at 1 the function is changes their uh, nature and therefore we will have to check left limit and right limit both so left hand limit limit h tends to 1 minus slightly lesser than 1 that is left side slightly more than 1 that is right hand side so here fx is equal to limit x tends to 1 minus right now and uh, fx is equal to x less than 1 this is applicable so in place of fx we will write x square minus 1 and now when x is equal to 1 if I put here then this will be 1 square minus 1 1 minus 1 is 0 now as far as concern for RHL RHL limit x tends to 1 plus fx and that means limit x tends to 1 plus and when x is greater than 1 then this is the application so x square minus 1 and if I will put here uh, x is equal to 1 then this will be 1 square minus 1 and this is what minus 1 ka 1 square is 1 minus 1 minus 1 that is minus 2 here left hand limit and right hand limits are not equal and therefore limit does not exist since left hand limit is not to right hand limit and therefore limit x tends to 1 fx does not exist right now i hope you got it okay now next question is question number 25 so what is question number 25 question number 25 is evaluate limit x tends to 0 fx where fx is defined as fx is defined as mod x by x when x is not equal to 0 and 0 when x is equal to 0. Now we will check left hand limit and right hand limit here and what is that try to understand. So left hand limit is what? Limit x tends to 0 minus fx and that is limit x tends to 0 minus 0 minus means not equal to 0 slightly lesser than 0 so slightly lesser than 0 it means it is not equal to 0 and therefore this application is this definition is applicable and therefore mod x by x if x is slightly lesser than 0 then mod x will come outside as minus x divided by x limit x tends to 0 minus because x is negative so whenever it is come out from the modulus it will be negative once again so that it will be positive so in that case it will be minus x upon x and x x cancels out that is minus 1 while rhl is if i am talking about rhl this is 0 plus fx then x is again more than 0 it means again it is not equal to 0 but it is positive x is greater than 0 that is, it is positive so in that case mod x by x is applicable same is applicable whether it is less than 0 or greater than 0 but because x is positive side so mod x will be equal to x right now and x upon x is 1 so here also lhl is not equal to rhl and therefore limit does not exist since lhl is not equal to rhl and therefore limit x tends to 0 fx does not exist exists
you know modulus uh, the mod x is equal to you must be knowing the definition of mod x definition of mod x is mod x is equal to x if x is greater than or equal to 0 and it is minus x if x is less than 0 it means if there is a positive side positive value inside the modulus then it will come out as it is and when it is negative then it will be negative of that value so that it will be positive so this is the basic definition everybody is knows this right now now question number 26 and question number 26 is here that find limit find limit x tends to 5 x tends to 5 where fx is equal to where fx is equal to mod x minus 5 this is a question this is question number 27 this is 27 not 26 but 27 question okay i'll do 26 also so here x tends to 5 and fx is equal to mod x so therefore what will happen and solution we can write solution limit x tends to 5 5 minus that is left hand limit fx is equal to it will be slightly lesser than 5 slightly lesser than 5 it will be also positive so in that case it will be 5 mod x we can uh, write it like limit x tends to 5 minus and that is mod x minus 5 in that case this will be also 5 minus 5 and that will be 0 even rhl you can calculate then also it will be when we, we talk about x tends to 5 plus fx means slightly more than 5 in that case it will be also positive and therefore um, it will be come out as 5 put x is equal to 5 here and 5 minus 5 is um, 0 so this is also 0 you can write it like a slightly more explaining uh, explanation is required i think so so i can write here one more step also because it is slightly more than five uh, less than slightly less than five but greater than zero so whenever it will come out of modulus it will be always positive so x tends to five minus this is mod x minus five and now five minus five is zero when it is a uh, slightly greater than 5 then also it will be mod x is x minus 5 limit x tends to 5 plus and that is x tends to 5 x minus 5 so we can do that x minus 5 and now 5 minus 5 is 0 so we can do that 5 minus 5 is 0 so here lhl is equal to rhl and therefore limit exist and value is 5 since LHL is equal to RHL and therefore limit x tends to 5 fx is equal to what is the value 0 fx is equal to 0 is the limiting value I hope you got it fx is equal to 0 and limit x just okay now question number 26 and question number 26 is here and that is given here that find limit x tends to 0 find limit x tends to 0 fx is equal to 26 we have already discussed okay 27 now question number 28 we have we are looking for question number 28 28 is 5 suppose it is given here that suppose Suppose fx is equal to fx is equal to given like ax plus b for x is less than 1 and 4 for x is equal to 1 and if b minus ax for x is greater than 1 it is given that limit limit x tends to 1 
एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू एफ वन एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू एफ वन वॉट इज द पॉसिबल वैल्यू ऑफ ए एंड बी वॉट इज द पॉसिबल वैल्यू ऑफ पॉसिबल वैल्यू ऑफ ए एंड बी वैल्यू ऑफ ए एंड बी वॉट इज द पॉसिबल वैल्यू ऑफ ए एंड बी दिस इज ए क्वेश्चन now we can have a solution and solution is like what limit lhl is equal to rhl and f1 h x is equal to 1 if i put here f1 f1 h4 clearly f1 h4 clearly f1 h4 now left hand limit f1 limit x tends to 1 fx is equal to lhl i am looking for lhl and lhl is limit x tends to 1 minus fx is equal to limit x tends to 1 minus and slightly later lesser than 1 then fx is has the definition ax plus b so if i put x is equal to 1 this will be limit x tends to 1 and what will happen then this will be a minus b this will be a plus b x is equal to 1 so a into 1 plus b that is a plus b now if i am looking for rhl rhl then limit x tends to 1 plus fx is equal to limit x tends to 1 plus and this is b minus ax the definition when x is greater than 1 see here this is when x is greater than 1 then b minus ax is the definition so b minus x i'll write here b minus x fx has value b minus x b minus x in that case if i put x is equal to 1 then b minus a that will be answer since limit exists it is given that since limit x tends to 1 fx exists define and therefore lhl must be equal to rhl and uh, it is given that fx is equal to and uh, that is a plus b is equal to b minus a and this employee 2a is equal to 0 2a is equal to 0 and therefore a is equal to 0 now it is given that value of a is equal to 0 so if i put a is equal to 0 it is given that since given here again also x tends to x fx is equal to f1 it means left hand limit a plus b is also equal to 4 and b minus a is also equal to 4 and therefore here if i put a is equal to 0 the left hand limit will be b and b is equal to 4 so answer of b is equal to 4 because fx is a is equal to 0 fx is a plus b or b minus a whatever i am taking a plus b and that is 4 so b a is 0 and therefore b is equal to 4 since a is already 0 so you can do that so a is 0 and b is 4 this is the value which can be obtained from this now question number 29 i am looking for question number 29 and this is given that let A one, A two, A three, A n. Let A one, A two, A three, A n. A one, A two, A three, up to A n. Be fixed real numbers and be fixed real numbers. Numbers and define define. A function, a function, f x is equal to x minus a one, x minus b one, into x minus a two, into up to x minus a n. Right? Compute, compute, limit x tends to a, f x. x tends to a f x. This is the question. 
So here, if I a1, a2, a3 be fixed real numbers, and all are different from one another, and that case solution will be uh, limit x tends to a fx is equal to limit x tends to a, and fx is defined as x minus a1, x minus a2, up to x minus a n. In that case, the answer will be just put x is equal to a a minus a1, a minus a2, a minus a3, and a minus a. And that will be the answer to this question. If a is not equal to any one of them, where a1, a2, a3, all of them are not equal to a. a1 is not equal to a. Or ai, means all ai, all different is not equal to a. If any one of them is equal to a, then this must be equal to 0. I hope you got it. Okay. Now, question number 30. And question number 30 is given here that if fx is equal to, fx is equal to, it is given here mod x plus 1, 0 and mod x minus 1 for x is for x is less than 0, x is equal to 0 and x is greater than 0. For what value of s value of now question is for what value of for what value of value or values right now of a value of a dutch limit x tends to a fx exist exists for what value of a? right this is what question so here function is defined for x is equal to 0 this is the doubtful case so we will check here only for x is equal to 0 and check it let us check it whether x is tends to 0 or not so left hand limit is limit x tends to 0 minus fx is equal to limit x tends to 0 minus and less than 0 then mod x plus 1 is definition of fx and in that case if you put x is slightly lesser than 0 so in that case it will be uh, slightly lesser than 0 then it will be minus x plus 1 right now because it is negative sign mod x will be minus x in that case if i'll put x is equal to 0 then 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 now rhl is limit uh, x tends to 0 plus fx then limit x tends to 0 plus and mod of x is here mod of x minus 1 this is limit x tends to 0 plus because 0 plus is more than 0 so mod x is x minus 1 now if i put 0 minus 1 that is minus 1 so here left hand limit and right hand limit are not exist not equal so limit does not exist here since left hand limit is not equal to right hand limit and therefore limit x tends to 0 fx does not exist and it is exist for all other real number and therefore it is because other definition we do not know there is no doubt it is not it uh, is exist it is exist for for all x belong to r okay a belong to r a belong to r except 0 that will be answer you can check it x is equal to 1 2 3 that can be a done but uh, there is no need to do that right now here 0 is only doubtful case even you want to check it you can check it i'm just taking one example x tends to 1 plus 1 minus fx then it will be which one will be different 
applicable. Only one of them will be applicable because one is greater than zero. So in that case, it will be applicable for limit x tends to one minus mod x minus one because x tends to slightly lesser than one, but definitely it will be greater than zero. So in that case, it will be x minus one. And if I put x is equal to one, then one minus one is zero. Similarly, if you will take one plus fx, in that case, it is greater than one. So this is also the same definition will be applicable. And in that case, limit x tends to one plus, right? And mod x is x minus one. So one minus one is zero. Left hand limit and right hand limit here. Left hand limit is equal to right hand limit. And therefore, limit exists at one. Limit exists at a is equal to one. So a can have any other value, any other real number except zero. It is not uh, applicable for x is equal to zero, a is equal to zero, but it is applicable for all other value of uh, a. Now the next question is here question number thirty one. And question number 31 is if a function fx satisfies, if a function fx satisfies, if a function fx satisfies limit x tends to 1 fx minus 2 divided by x square minus 1 is equal to evaluate limit x tends to 1 fx. What is the value here that is not visible right now? I am just checking it. Although it is not clear, I am taking here 0, fx minus 2. So we have to calculate this, that what is the value of fx. So clearly, uh, if it is 2x, suppose fx is 2x, in that case, what will happen? That uh, it will be 2x square. Okay, this is not 0, but this is a pi given. So if it is pi, then what will happen? So using now question can be solved by using the concept here solution is there that limit x tends to one fx by gx. This is the concept. Then or say like a, then we can write it limit x tends to a for fx divided by limit x tends to a for gx. We can do it separately also. Algebra of limits is there. It is a algebra of limits by algebra of limits. Algebra of limits. We can do that. If there are two different functions, we can do that. So here there are two different functions. So we can use it. Limit x tends to 1 fx minus 2. And therefore we can write here limit x tends to 1 fx minus 2 limit x tends to 1 fx minus 2 is equal to pi that can be written as limit x tends to 1 fx minus 2 divided by limit x tends to 1 x square minus 1 is equal to pi this can be written as limit x tends to 1 fx minus 2 is equal to limit x tends to 1 pi times of x square minus 1 but if i will put here and um, this employee uh, what will happen limit x tends to 1 fx minus 2 is equal to pi times of 1 square minus 1 this employee limit x tends to 1 fx minus 2 is equal to pi into 0 and therefore limit x tends to 1 fx is equal to what this is 0 and minus 2 will come this side it will be plus 2 and that will be answered this is what the question they are asking okay i hope you got it now next question is question number 32 and 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी टू इज इफ एफ एक्स इफ एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू इफ एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू गिवेन हियर दैट एम एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एन एम एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एन फॉर एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो एंड एन एक्स प्लस एम एन एक्स प्लस एम इफ एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू जीरो बट लेस देन वन लेस देन इक्वल टू वन एंड एन एक्स क्यू प्लस एम फॉर एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन वन इन दैट केस लेट मी राइट क्लियर इट इज एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो एंड लेस देन इक्वल टू वन फॉर वॉट इंटीजियर ऑफ एम एंड एन बोथ एक्सिस्ट नाउ क्वेश्चन इज for what for what integer integer m and n m and n does both does both limit x tends to 0 fx and limit x tends to 1 fx exist this is question now for uh, left hand limit left x tends to 0 minus left hand limit let me write this clearly left hand limit solution limit x tends to 0 minus fx is equal to limit x tends to 0 plus fx since limit x tends to 0 fx exists so left hand limit must be equal to right hand limit now for left hand limit what will happen x is less than 0 is greater than 0 and here x is less than 0 so less than 0 is this one so we can apply here m into 0 square plus n and right hand limit is greater than 0 so this will be n into 0 plus n this employee what will happen n is equal to m this is the first equation i hope you got it now limit x tends to 1 also exists since limit x tends to 1 fx exists this employee limit x tends to 1 minus fx is equal to limit x tends to 1 plus fx this will also exist now for x tends to 1 minus 1 minus is slightly less than 1 x is less than 1 this will be applicable and for greater than 1 this will be applicable so i can write nx plus m that will be limit x tends to 1 minus fx is nx plus m is equal to limit uh, x tends to 1 plus nx q plus m right na nx q plus m nx q plus m so in that case what will happen if i'll put their values then this will be n into 1 plus m is equal to n into 1 q plus m this employee n plus m is equal to n plus m which is true for all n and m which is always true so if i which is true always which is true for true for all value of n and m value of n and m right now so this is true for all real value of all real value of n m but n and m are integer so it will be true for all integral from first and second so from first and second and second and uh, it is true for m and n are equal and can have m and n are equal and can have 
can have any integral value any integral value value right now so that will be the answer so that's all in this exercise i hope you got it and you understood it uh, well uh, what is the limit and how you can use uh, the limit to find the limiting value of any function so keep watching bye bye god bless you and if you haven't haven't subscribed this channel yet do subscribe it and share to your friends as well thank you thank you very much god bless